This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Oh, is it throwing us into it straight away? Hello and welcome to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Probably one of the most anticipated games in the world and it's apparently we're starting off totally OP. I'm sure it'll be taken away from us very, very swiftly. Uh, we've got camera, we've got move, and we've got controls. If the press the plus button, crouch, action, put away, jump. Sounds good to me. Let's do this. Oh, that music. Oh, I'm back in Zelda, guys. It's been so long. Obviously, Breath of the Wild, one of the best games ever that I've ever played. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, am I going to have to read out all of the dialogue? Oh, man. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. Coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. I'm really surprised. I honestly thought they were going to do a last minute, like, surprise, we've got an upgraded version of the Switch console for you all to buy with the new Zelda game. They would have made so much money for that. I'm sort of so surprised they didn't do it. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. Yep, and now it's time for us to discover these things, I guess. Don't worry, I'll go ahead. I got this. What could go wrong? Huh? Link? What is it, Zeld? Hmm. The Master Sword? Well, it's glowing. The orc's about, peeps. Hmm. I must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the the end of the calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. We need to hire some cleaners, love. Jeez. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. Okay. Swing sword. Why? Why? Why is it on the Y button? Okay, fair enough. What's And jump is on... Jumps on X? Oh my goodness. What a... Okay, let's let's fix this. <laughs> let's fix this. Can we change it? Uh, select. No. I don't want to save the game. I want to change the controls. Uh, aim with motion controls off. That's horrible. Swap jump controls. Yes. That's better. Uh, lock minimap north. HUD mode. Oh, we'll worry about that later. Let's uh, let's save that. Let's make our first save, guys. I can't believe we did it. Okay, so now things should be a bit better. So we've got uh, B is jump. Y is still swing sword for some reason, but at least jump's on the right button. So, oh no, they're... Mm, they're the wrong way around. Link, look here. What is it? Hmm. The ruins from an ancient civilization. What's the log button do? Oh, okay. Shows you the chat log. That's interesting in case you missed something. Wait, something's written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? Zon AI? I don't know. I don't know. 
goodness. If we stop every 10 seconds to look at something, we're not going to discover what it is. <gasps> These carvings. I'm sure the Zo Zon AI, <laughs> the Zonai in origin, I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zo Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Take some pictures of it. That's what you need to do. Swing sword. That's so weird. It being on the Y button. It should it should be on A. Surely, should be on the A button to swing sword. Like jump. Can we not swap those as well? I guess not. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's fine. Take some pictures. This is what the zone I look like. They seem different than us. And such large ears. Yes, indeed. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? Looks like a path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Let's do it. Swing sword. Big chop. Okay, we've got some more of these zone eye things. Is she going to tell me something about this room? You're going to find some deep and mysterious meaning in the bricks? Come on, love. We got. Oh, here we go. We got some Pokemons. Kill the Pokemons. Nice. I did it. You are not hurt, are you, Link? I'm expert level 99. I can't be hurt. <gasps> Look at these murals. <gasps> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. No way. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. I don't know if she's scared or excited. And the events that led up to it. Link! This is a huge discovery. All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. No problem. 
you got this boss I will move deeper so we're gonna go somewhere get knocked out wake up somewhere else with hardly any hearts master swords gone something's got to set us back a bit Ooh. okay it's kind of creepy but I like it I'm so excited even if the even if the chop button's on the wrong button, it's fine. I don't care. Come on, Zelda. <gasps> what is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Okay or not yet? Well, what else am I going to do? I mean, that looks like we've got an option to do other things, but I, I didn't see anything that we had an option for. Uh, not yet. What other buttons have I got? I've got that. Have I got my little, like, contraption I had in the last one? Oh. Is it just doing that again? I, I want to I want to turn around and go back to that other room and see if we can break those rocks. I, I don't think it wants me. Oh, crouching. Okay. Just go in the thing. That's what the game wants you to do. No. I must discover the secrets. Oh. Okay. So something to do in this area then. Otherwise, why would it give you a choice? What's the point in it giving you a choice? I'm pressing all the buttons. There doesn't appear to be anything else I can do other than do crazy things with the Master Sword. I can apparently whistle my horse. Is he going to turn up? I guess. Yeah, I guess we're going to just go for it then. What a strange place to give you a decision. Why? <laughs> okay. Let's do it, Zelda. It's Zelda. Yeah, whatever. What is that? Ooh. Interesting. Kinda looks a little bit like one of those things that we got in the, uh... In the, like, dungeons in the last one. There weren't dungeons, were they? What were they called? Shrines? out the big bad guy. Did you just wake him up, Zelda? Oh, jeez. Have we got a boss fight straight away? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I told you. Oh, man. We've been injured. No, not the Master Sword, no! You can't break the Master Sword! Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword, a Link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Oh dear. Look what we've done. Oops. Not the castle. Ah, oh, jeez.
Uh oh. Oh, she's got ma magic bean. She's all right, but we're we're not. Oh, apparently we are. Magic hand. Is that our new arm? Do we get that arm because our other one's dead? We got magic arm in this game. Don't need master sword. Got magic arm, bro. Oh dear. That's why it's forbidden, Zelda, to go down there. But someone probably should have told you why. And curiosity and all that. In this case, curiosity didn't kill the cat. It broke the castle. And unleashed a terrible power across the entire world. How oh, good. Yeah, it's combined with us. We got magic arm, guys. And a tattoo. Nice. <sighs> You've been asleep for thousands of years. Not again. Oh, my God. I... Jeez. <sighs> Bit of a creepy hand. <laughs> Very oh, creepy. <laughs> Them fingernails. Finally. Wake. Who could it be? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Cries in Master Sword. Oh man. Okay, three hearts. <laughs> a wangy arm. And a whole room to explore that'll be full of goodies. Come on, where's all the secret boxes? There's no way you got all this stuff behind here and no secret boxes. And my stamina's down to zero. Oh, they took everything from me. They took it all, guys. Oh, and I forgot you can, like, jump on everything in this game. Okay, that's probably going to be the way out. Uh, let go. X. Thank you. Okay, we'll need to swipe our way through there. Examine. Poor Master Sword. It's broke, guys. It's a master rubbish dagger now. Decayed master sword. The sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule's castle. Inventory plus. There it is, look. So I guess we can probably still use it a bit. But I imagine it's not going to be... A yes, I realise you've got to chop through the vines with it, yes. Yeah, but I wanna, I wanna. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, I, I know. I read it down instructions. I thought there might be some secrets in here. Surely there's some somewhere. We've got all this stuff to climb on. There's, there's got to be a secret at the top. It's one thing Nintendo are good at, and it's hiding things from us. <laughs> I'm sure there was like a beam I could get up to up here. Just. I don't, oh, I don't, maybe, no, there's a ceiling there. Oh, okay. Fine, I'm sure there was something in here. I've probably missed it. It doesn't matter. Let's crack on. Chop the vines with the broken sword. Hey, new room. It's a puzzle. What is it? Examine. Put your wangy hand on here. Where's my clothes? What have they done with all my clothes? OK, 
Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can switch your weapons and stuff with the thing and whistle. I mean to whistle. It's just, I apologise. I bet there's there's got to be a box up there, right? Can I climb on that? Can I jump on this thing as it goes round? Am I am I too eager for the puzzles? <laughs> I missed. Oh, oops. And what's this? Why does this exist? Can I do anything with it? You can't double jump. I need, like, the jump is very small. Climb down. I don't want to climb down. I want to jump on that. Just got to get it at the right time. <laughs> Good job, Jit. Blink. Good job, Jing. Yes. Jing. Can I, like, climb up the leg and then jump off backwards? Ah. Jump. <laughs> okay. Not the most gracious of starts. Maybe I should just go into the next room, but I'm sure there's a reason to get up there. There will be a chest. There will 100, but can I just climb up this wall? No. Come on, big jump. Jeez. If only I could get on it. I thought you can get onto that one. If I if I could get on that, but then I'd, I'm going underneath it if I do that. There must be a way to hang on to it. Run, Link. Right. If we where's the run button? Run and jump. We got this, guys. Go. There we go. Hold on. Oh, maybe not. All right, okay. Let's not run before we can walk. Let's uh, let's crack on into the next room and see what we're supposed to actually be doing. And I kind of, kind of, even though I've uh, changed it now. Ah, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I want to, I want the settings, please, so I can switch my controls back. Because I want, actually, the other one on the bottom. i just got to figure out how to do all the buttons. There we go. Let's reverse that back again. Because it's actually quite useful having that there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can it swim down? No. Hmm. Jump. I am pressing jump. Jump. Whee! Oh, that was a big one. Okay. Something behind here? No. Ah, what's this? See, there are chests about. I knew there would be. Archaic leg wear. He would have had the whole suit if you hadn't, you know, missed the jumps on the other thing. Thank you very much. I'll take it. I guess there's probably no way to get back. But all these ledges and things just makes you think there's secrets up there. They're, oh, man. See, this is the problem with recording, recording gameplay. If I wasn't, I'd just spend ages in here just like trying everything and trying to get everywhere but because i'm recording the video i'm very aware that i need to make progress so let me know in the comments if you'd rather i stuck around and explored or if you just want me to crack on with things oh wow okay we're up in the sky we're very high up what we're very high up in the sky jeez on this thing here and there's there's gonna be a chest on top of that thing there absolutely will be 100 percent there's a chest on top of it. With the rest of my clothes. Hmm. Okay. It's not allowing... I thought it might allow me to, like, control where I'm going, but I guess not. This is the intro, isn't it?
A lot of Sky Islands. Accelerate. Hold R. Wow. Don't hit a lily pad, though. Amazing. Nice. The Great Sky Island. And it's going to be covered in treasure. I just got to find it, guys. And pick up a stick. <gasps> take. I'll take the stick. It's probably better than this rubbish sword I've got. It is. It's better than this. Better. Oh, they got durability there on Zelda, haven't they? I forget about this. It's all good, though. Wow. Oh, jeez, look, all the water's falling off, yet it's not emptying. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long. Just like everyone else has as well, I guess. Uh, can I pick the flowers? No, okay, I can't pick the flowers. Well, there's a chap over here. There's a bad guy. Get him. I missed. Is there a lock-on button on this? I don't think you can, can you? My tree branch broke. You broke my tree branch. You meanie. I'll take it. A Zonai charge. Material used as a power source con uh, for constructs and other devices. Its strange light and seems to reveal a pot potent energy inside. Amazing. Oh, and a soldier construct horn. Oh, amazing. So we got like a... No? I thought it was another, another sword. I guess not. Oh, but we've got a wooden stick here. With, with power four wooden stick. It's amazing. I take it. So the inventory in this one seems to be a lot different from the last one uh, in terms of how it's laid out. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's uh, the last one. I guess it was quite complicated. Maybe they've refined it a, bit, a little bit, made it, make it a little bit more simple, perhaps. I don't know. Is that another stick? It's another stick. Going to need lots of sticks. What's on this little mound here? Oh, it's mushrooms. Take the mushroom, sky shrooms, come mushroom, yes. Oh, I forgot you need to eat in this game as well, don't you? Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> There's a lot to Zelda. Up we go, Link. There we go, onto the little ma mushroom mound. Get as many of these shrooms as we can. Surely we'll find some more cooking materials and stuff soon as well. I kind of want to go back up there and explore around all that top bit. Which I think I'm going to do. I just want to see where this is actually leading to. It's leading us to another little island over there. So yeah. Let's just explore the rest of this bit here. And see what happens. See if it triggers anything. And if not I'm going to go back and explore the area where we dived into. Got another branch here. Got a lot of things we're going to be whacking with tree branches. Or making a fire. You never know. Get a couple more shrooms. Okay. So we have a gap. Quite a significant gap there. I'm sure there's something we can do to uh, to fix that. Can I use that thing on here? Is it a teleporter? It looks like you can maybe go inside it. Oh no, it's a giraffe. Hello. Good morning. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda is in another castle. <laughs> There's something for you in my care. <laughs> oh, she's left her phone for us. Amazing. It's a Pura pad. I'm told that it's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction.
Welcome to Zelda. Prize device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. We can open it with the minus button. We got a map, peeps. Wow, okay. Jeez, the Great Sky Island. So, obviously... Oh, wrong button. There's pictures she took. We are here. And we landed in here. So, yeah, I want to go and have a look around all these, these bits before we move off this island and go across onto there. Uh, that's as far as we can go in. Okay, we've got the pictures she took in the place, which maybe there's a reason to have these still on the phone, or maybe it's just like, oh, they're the ones she's, uh, she took. We've got some features unavailable, and we got a uh, an adventure log that's basically telling us what we need to do. And it says, find Princess Zelda. You found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave it uh, her pyropad, all to get into your hands. The device's map shows a yellow point of light. The construct said is where you'll need to find the princess. So, uh, yeah, we got to go over here, I guess. But not yet. Not yet. Wow. And by the looks of things, this could be quite a large map, which is good. Plenty of gameplay. You received it from... Yes, I know you did. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on the map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. Oh. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. It's now a lonely place. No one visits. And a little hand symbol has appeared there. I should assume that's going to give us a uh, like a little way to get over there then. I don't want to go over there yet, though. Fingers crossed it won't. Because I've got exploring to do, peeps. But they got to interact with it. There we go. A bridge! Fantastic. It looks like there's another giraffe thing over there in the corner as well. In that little box. So... There we go. We now have access to that, which is absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to go back in this direction, have a quick explore of the surroundings around us, see if there's anything that I missed, anything that I can pick up, and then we'll head over to where the game actually wants us to go. And look, apples! Tree apples! Give me the apples! Uh, reach it, reach it, Link. Really? Climb the tree to get the apple. Come on. Go faster. Now, there used to be a way in Breath of the Wild to sort of cheese your, um, what's it called, stamina a little bit and be able to do a little bit more than you should have done. And I wonder if, because there's a, if you would watch, there's loads of videos with like really bad bugs from Breath of the Wild that allow you to just do crazy things. Oh, and apparently I've got low battery on my controller. Uh, so, oh, really? <laughs> So I wonder if they've fixed any of those for this one or whether or not they, uh, they're going to be able to do exactly the same things. I can't believe that. I just wanted to get to the lily pad, guys. Right, let, no, let me on the lily pad, right? That's it, and then we'll have a rest. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Oh, and you've got temperature as well. Oh, jeez, I forget all of these things. Looks like we're just going to have a very slow swim over to the next lily, lily pad then. It is not impossible that they've made it too hard to get to the other bits for now, so you don't have to come, so you maybe come back here later. Possibly. There's another branch up there. I'll take it. Give me that tree branch. And obviously we need to find Korok seeds. I'm sure there'll be plenty of those kicking around. You always got to keep your eyes out for the Korok seeds. Thank you. Right, let's re stamina rise. Go across to this one. Hop up here. That's it. Thank you. Uh, do a big jump. No, I didn't do a big jump. Press the wrong button. I press dash instead of jump. There we go. Across to this one. That's it. Now a big jump. There we go. That's better. And up here. And I'm sure we must be able to climb out of here. Possibly. We can. And I think we'll just about make it. Nice. The stickiest fingers on the planet, old Link. He can climb up anything with his bare hands. 
Right, what we've we got to see in the Garden of Time. I think that's what they called it. I've already forgotten. Another tree branch. You can throw the weapon in your hand. I know. I don't want to throw it. I like it. Now oh, there's a platform over there. It looks like we can get on. And obviously we've got this big hill here that we, we could see from the other side. There's going to be something up here. It has to be. There's the rules. There's the rules. It's computer game rules. If you have big hill, there's something at the top of it. Mushrooms! Is that all it was? Just a couple of mushrooms. <laughs> no chests on that thing. But there's all that to discover as well around that side. So now I've got to run all the way back again. Jeez, for a couple of mushrooms. It's fine, guys. What Zelda's all about? And like I say, I would be absolutely amazed if they've <laughs> not hidden stuff around here. And I know we can climb the trees and stuff, but there doesn't seem to be much point in doing that at this moment in time. There we go. Let's crack on, get those extra mushrooms. They're going to be invaluable to our mushroom making mission. Oh, and another one there. Just hop down here. Don't fall off. Oh, look. Ah, there's mu Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. But there's, there's stuff over the edge. So that's potentially useful to us in the future. There's some birds. Come on, you can't give me all this stuff, game, and not put stuff in it. Oh, look, there's ways over there as well. Or maybe that was a quick way up here. Or at least it's a quick way down. <laughs> Just some more mushrooms, really? That's it! That's all you're going to give me is mushrooms! You did all that exploring for nothing! Well, for a couple of mushrooms, I guess. Okay, let's go down this way then. And hop our way down. There's got to be more to see. More to explore. Looks like we can get in that tree. Bit of, bit of frame rate issue there. And into that tree, but it doesn't seem like there's much point in going in those trees. Anything around the outside? Nope. So we literally just went there for a handful of mushrooms. That's fine. That's fine. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Right, let's go over here in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. There will be more coming very, very soon. See you all in the next one, peeps.